Well, we're back again. It's your boy, Coach Low, a.k.a. The Camp King, and you are listening to Low. Yes, we are on the Listen to Low show, brought to you by Sweet Fry Production. Bring the production to you every single week, consistently, episode after episode after episode. And make sure you get exactly what you need to feed the brain, to feed the heart, to feed the stomach, to feed the soul. I'm trying to feed it to you. All you have to do, just eat it one spoon at a time. One lip to the mouth, to the brain, feeds the soul. Coming right to you from Coach Low. Here's the mindset right here. Here's the mindset. There are two types of spoons, though. There's a silver spoon and there's a plastic spoon. Which spoon are you eating off? Which spoon was you raised on? Was you raised on a spoon that said, you have everything you want. We have worked hard for you. We did everything to make sure that you're going to be successful. You have an opportunity to be the best you can be. Or did you come off the plastic spoon? Was the spoon that said, you want it? Go get it. You want it? You have to earn it. There's nothing given to you. Everything you're going to get, you have to earn if you want to take that plastic spoon and change to a silver spoon, well, you got to earn it because nobody's going to give it to you. You can't just walk up in a fancy restaurant unless you went through something to get to the fancy restaurant. Something, sometimes things are not just given to you. So it's like when I was in high school, I had to go to work, go to school, train, go to work, go home, cook, clean, take care of my brothers and sisters, make sure they're in on time. Straighten up the bed, wait till my mom get home, get up in the morning and do it again and again and again. When the weather changed, <clears throat> same routine. When it's cold, same routine. Hot, same routine. Ain't no air conditioning now. You're going to lay in that bed and roll up the windows and put your head out the window just to get a cool breeze. You have to ask yourself, what did you learn from it? What did you gain from it? And how are you going to take that to another level? How are you going to go from a plastic spoon to a silver spoon. Huh. I'm giving y'all the knowledge. I'm giving you nuggets. I'm breaking down to you right now. I want you to think of this right here. Knowledge is power. But knowledge applied is powerful. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm, I'm going to rephrase it. Knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is powerful. Knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is powerful. So you can have it, but if you're not applying it, it's not powerful. When you don't apply it, it loses its strength. Like a hurricane coming through. If you don't have enough to start build up, it loses its strength. When it hit land, it loses its strength. So when you hit a certain level, a certain plateau, you can't lose your strength. You got to apply what you learn to continue the strength and to build the strength, continue to grow and continue to go. When you want something, you want to go somewhere that everyone probably want to go to. If you want to be a, a CEO of a company, if you want to be the owner of the company, if you want to be in the NFL, or if you want a college degree, or you want a uh, uh, to be the, the president of the United States, there's qualification to be in that category. There's qualification that you have to have, you know, in order to even have a shot, even have a chance at it. Let me give you an example. That thing about the University of Notre Dame. When you talk about Notre Dame, you're talking about not a four-year degree, or you're talking about a 40-year degree. What comes with that? What makes somebody want to actually give you a 40-year degree? But you only got to go to go to college for a year. But when you graduate, that degree is for 40 years or for life because what it takes to go to Notre Dame, what it takes to be a Notre Dame man or any other prestigious school like Stanford and Harvard and Yale, right? These take precedent over a lot of regular schools. Because of what they have and because of their criteria, people look at it different. They look at it different based on what you put on your resume.
When you put on that resume that, hey, yes, I am a college graduate from Notre Dame, from Stanford, from Yale, from Harvard, it's a different conversation piece because they know you went by all the criteria that schools like that requires. And the reason why these schools require that or these companies require a certain level because they have tradition. They have a tradition that they go by and believe in for years and years. They have spirit. They have spirit. Every time you walk on campuses or walk into a, a building or corporation that stands by their tradition, the spirit is always high. Family. They treat you like family. Welcome to Notre Dame. Welcome to Notre Dame. Welcome to Stanford. Welcome to Yale. We are family. And when you leave and you're looking for a job, looking for opportunity, reach out to your family. That's huge. But at the same time, they are committed because commitment that you have to have, they have a commitment to make sure you become a successful man or even a woman by leaving out of Notre Dame. These four elements are characteristic of what it makes and what makes Notre Dame who they are or other or top or colleges or companies who they are because it's a special place to live and play college football, or be a, a college uh, professor, or to be a CEO of their company. I'm just tied it in and applying it in. But you understand that these are the characteristics that we must have if we want to be successful in life and make an easy career. So you have to struggle and struggle and struggle. We struggle. Because we don't know how to get in certain levels. We don't know how to get to the promised land. We don't know how to get to the top. We want to be on the first and second floor instead of being on the 18, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50th floor. Why not? These companies like Notre Dame, these companies like Notre Dame, they have built strong foundations in both academic and athletic, or they build a strong foundation and both being successful by helping other companies and future companies and, and, and building men that come out as the leaders of today or leaders of tomorrow. I was talking to uh, one of my friends and he was like, your son went to Notre Dame. I said, yes, that's why I'm talking about you guys right now. And they said, why? Why Notre Dame, you know, over other schools and a lot of uh, other opportunities? I say because it's rich history, tradition that will like that will build him. It's like a building block for his future. That's Notre Dame. And I told him, like, as a graduate of Notre Dame, it's like you have to make sure that you know how to use everything that they gave you, all the different tools. I mean, I've been able to like recognize and appreciate what it has done for me, even as a father, and the impact it can be on my future and his future. Just the conversation piece alone has impact and has helped me. Just the conversation piece alone. It's huge. Have a conversation piece with people that want what you want. People that want to be successful because you want to be successful. Here's what they say. I tell my kids all the time. I tell others. You're a product of your environment. So hang around with people that want what you want. Think about that there. Hang around people that want what you want. Do they want to come up and be a great husband, a great father, a great man, a great friend, a great provider? Is that what they want? Because that's that they if that's what they want, then you gotta want the same thing and you in the right company. If you want it and they want it, success. Success. Now you learn it for someone that wants to be the best and that wants to be the greatest. So make sure you want it and you take that knowledge 
and you apply that knowledge. It's your boy, Coach Lopes for Life. You will listen to Low. Y'all check us out. Like it, share it, subscribe it, and we'll see you next week.